You think, guys, you think that freaking DHL can read? They don't, they don't know what that says. That says fragile. To them, that means throw it even harder. Ah, uh, hi, everyone. Everyone? Hi, everybody. I'm currently filming like five videos, so just gonna hop right into this one. A couple weeks ago, I got my Eurospec Mercedes front bumper. I'm just gonna hop right in and let you guys watch the unboxing footage. I think I still have it. This was something that I ordered from Germany. I had the prior design front bumper and um, I didn't want to use that for this kit because this kit was designed exactly for an OEM front bumper. So what did I do? I got a Eurospec um, from Germany. I got a Eurospec front bumper that's from a 2018 or 2019, 2020, uh, non-GTR, but it's for a GTS. I don't have the GTR kit and uh, the bumper's very different on the GTR plus um, the GTR's front bumper I think is like $10,000. One of the days we were working last week, we got this and uh, I've, I've actually been really excited to open it up and see what's up with it. Now, I don't know, should I put the car on the, on the freaking lift today? I don't know if I'm gonna keep it over here. I have to do a little bit more trimming. Might have to just put the car on jacks. I don't freaking know, dude. Too many cars. Go ahead and get this thing opened. Don't really know exactly how to tackle this. I guess take the big, the big trash bag off of it and then, um, and then go from there. It's so weird not having two here. I'm alone. There's no one here beside me. Look, dude, look, hold, look at this, dude. What is with people like... <laughs> what is with people boxing up very expensive things like this and just... <sighs> My God, you think you think that you think guys you think that freaking DHL can read? They don't. They don't know what that says. That says fragile. To them, that means throw it even harder. <laughs> God. Uh, at least this isn't a fiberglass kit. It's an actual OE, so it shouldn't be broken. If it is, Daddy's throwing a fit. I don't know what that is. Before we continue with this video, this video is brought to you today, sponsored by Cove. A lot of you guys know that Cove, I can't hear, <laughs> that's so weird. A lot of you guys know that uh, over the past few years, Cove has been a huge sponsor and a uh, big help on the channel. And a lot of you guys have tried out their products and absolutely love them. They have recently revamped their noise canceling headphone, but it's been my go-to over the ear noise canceling headphone for years now. I've actually been using it. I, think I got these a couple years ago and uh, they really are genuinely amazing. Like, can't hear? <laughs> I cannot hear myself talk right now. Um, so these are really cool. They're very, very, very comfortable. They've got uh, memory foam cushions on the side. They got a quick connect Bluetooth system. Super easy to set up and start going. You just turn them on, connect your phone and go. They've got a super high quality microphone to where you can actually have phone conversations so you can talk with these on as well. Like I said, they're also noise canceling. So they got a little noise canceling switch. These are gonna be, these are really, really good. Whether you're working out in the gym, uh, you're working in your garage, you're at home, whatever, even especially if you're on a plane and there's like a kid crying behind you or something like that. That, like these are these are my go-to's the reviews speak for themselves um, you guys can actually go to the description I've got a discount code for you guys to use today my code is eco 7 you guys can save over 70% off on these headphones right now they're amazing they work over 30 feet away you get 32 hours of carefree usage out of these puppies or 200 hours of standby check out Cove's noise canceling headphones, they genuinely are amazing. And they are the best bang for the buck. Thanks to Cove for sponsoring. Now, let's go back onto the video. There you go, ladies and gents. Now, I think that uh, because the there's a little bit of a difference on the backside of the 18 plus bumpers. God, look at this, dude. I, I bought this because like the, the freaking emblem alone for Mercedes is like a thousand bucks. And um, this is a Euro spec, so this looks a little bit cooler and it's different. You don't see many Euro spec bumpers here. But uh, yeah, like this this whole grill in front like bumper, like this whole grill assembly with the emblem, I was gonna get that for my prior design, but it was so expensive. I was like, no way. So I just made my own, but I like that it actually has the real OE emblem and stuff like that. I actually got a really good deal on this. Now, if 
if uh, high school car enthusiast Evan knew how much grown up Evan spent on cars, let alone bumpers, at this point in life, I'd be pooping myself. So I got this thing for 6,000, and uh, that's actually a steal, and that's kind of why, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of actually a steal, which is pretty sad. OE, I mean, it's painted, doesn't really matter because we're gonna repaint it anyways. The car's not gonna be wrapped, it's going to actually be painted, and we're gonna be doing real carbon fiber work and stuff like that with it. So it's gonna look really, really cool when it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the rest of the components that I need for the front bumper, and we're gonna kind of mock them up. There's this guy, big boy. That's crazy. So it's kind of hard to mock it up because it keeps wanting to slide. But uh, we're gonna have a lot of hardware keeping this splitter on the bumper. And I'm assuming it's probably in some way going to connect to the chassis underneath, which means we're gonna have to get, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to make some stuff to make sure that this actually connects to the, to the car itself. But I'll show you guys how this works real quick. It's obviously, it's very simple. What's gonna happen is you've got this right here. This is gonna continue the wide arch of the rest of the body. It's gonna line up there, and then it's gonna curve under this right here, and then it's actually gonna bolt up. You can kinda of see right here. You can see right here, there's gonna be a bolt there. So we're gonna use some hardware, maybe actually a rivet nut there that connects this to this to this. And then there's also one, two, three, four, five going across the front, and um, I'm probably going to I don't know where I'm gonna tie it in. Maybe, I'll have to ask Lucas where he ties it in, but I'd like to get some actual splitter rods uh, to really hold it into, like, I mean, the chassis, I could, I could probably bolt it in, like, right here, because that's the frame. Jose is gonna do most of the small details and stuff like that at his shop uh, when he, or before he paints it, and then I'm probably gonna go there with him to do some of the carbon fiber work, because I really wanna learn a little bit more about how to do that. I need to somehow get this kind of, um, held, you know, I'd really like to be able to bolt it there, but it just goes shoop, it just falls. So that is the front bumper. We had it uh, mocked up. I've got Jose from Delir Designs here. He's hiding somewhere in the corner of the shop over there. Everybody say hello to him. He's, he's one of my favorites. We are getting the massive splitter mocked up. Don't know why it's so dark right now. What is happening? I need more lights in my shop, guys. This is bad. So it needs some trimming. Uh, the These little air ducts, if you will, right here, uh, are different for the different generations of front bumper. This, that's a 2018 front bumper, or 2018 and up, and uh, this is a 2016, so, or 2017. So I'm gonna end up having to cut a little bit. I need to cut a chunk of this section off, which really is not a huge deal. I wish there was an easy way to take this off, but I think you actually have to remove the entire, I don't even know what this is. It's a water cooler, oil cooler or something. Gotta do a little bit more trimming here, take the spacers off the rear because I rub, unfortunately. I gotta get this thing ready to drive because I am pretty certain it will not fit on my trailer. I don't think this will fit in, in anything except for like a big, enclosed trailer. So let's go ahead and uh, start getting at it. We're gonna first mount this up. We're gonna be using some uh, some pretty serious hardware for this. Um, some big bolts because this is, uh, this is going to have a lot of downforce on it. We've gotta make sure that it's like super, super bolted onto the front bumper. It's kind of like going onto the shroud, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure how much I trust it, but I guess we're gonna have to see. Apparently it works because I've seen it, you know, I've seen it on, on Lucas's cars a bunch. Do you trust it? Okay, good. Yeah, it's like, it's a lot of splitter, dude. Killer. Oh my gosh. Dude, that looks so sick, dude. I'm gonna have to get like a Euro front plate or something. <laughs> Actually, I don't know, maybe, I, can I take that off? I think I probably yeah, can. Off. Okay, cool. So we're gonna have to end up cutting a little bit of the, uh, the, the bumper, which is just so tragic. <laughs> so I think we're gonna have to cut about like right here. Before I cut anything, I need to see where it, where it fits on. So, okay, so I don't need to, so I won't need to have any of this. So I'll probably just cut a good chunk of this behind here, and uh, that's simple enough. Look at that, dude. Hey, dude, this thing is gonna be so wide. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's crazy, dude. That's super cool. Guys, I'm so excited for this car. I haven't driven it in so long. It's been such a long time coming, and uh, it's been kind of 
pushed to the side literally because of all the other projects going on, but I'm so I'm so excited to get this thing finished up. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna start cutting. What do you think I use an air saw or something like that? Or I don't know what I, I don't know what I should use to cut. Put a little saw saw that you have. A little saw saw might do the trick. That is crazy. Okay, now time to cut up a bumper that's, I, this is gonna hurt, honestly, worse than cutting any, anything else. We relaunch 5.3 Supply, I'll put one of these in every order. You get a free $100 worth of bumper <laughs> with your order. Need to get this one piece down here done, but the fitment on this is really nice. The bumper's not fully bolted up yet. I need to like get a, a nut and bolt up here, um, but uh, the fitment's good. I chopped off enough behind the bumper, and um, this is a good mock-up. I'll probably go ahead and just keep it like this until I go to Jose's. Or now, I mean, now, I'll probably, anyways, I'll, I still gotta do rivet nuts in here but this was the last piece to this and i'm super excited i like this better for one it's oem you can't you're not going to get quality like this out of like the prior design you're not going to have amg like that yeah. badge alone is like 500 bucks <laughs> so and uh, the prior design one i don't think could actually run that so it's it's super sick i love just all the little accents and stuff this this zero spec front bumper is really really nice and it's going to uh, i'm going to have to get it on the lift and tighten up this i'll probably we might i might even have drew make a bracket um but the last thing we'll do before we drive uh jose's gonna come back next week we're going to get the rear bumper completely finished get all the sensors and stuff in plug everything back up take it for a test drive drew's got to make the exhaust as well um, but this is the last uh, aesthetically aside from that exhaust like i just said it's the last piece to the front and it fit phenomenally um, i've just got to do a couple more things here and there this has to bolt into the bumper and then that's pretty much pretty much it i need to oh there we go now she's home kind of ish once jose has it um he's going to finish up all the vents and stuff like that there's like little 3d printed vents in, towards the back oh my god dude this thing is freaking huge i'm gonna pull it outside i haven't seen this thing outside plus i need to take a thumbnail so, oh my god, god, she about to take flight, baby. Oh my god. trimming and not too much longer and we'll have a full wide body AMG God dude the wing this is crazy cool oh, I love it. I'm so excited to drive this thing again dude look at that unbelievable unbelievable man with the with the clear tails too dude that just that really is that looks good. so good Oh my god. Now the cherry on top is the 2.3 GPA license plate. That's my favorite. Euro spec front bumper. Almost. Oh like it's that low? <laughs> Damn, that actually is very low. Oh my god. That's crazy. That is crazy, dude. I love it. Love, love, love. Big thank you. Thank you, Jose, to, for coming out. And uh, thank you, thank you, Germany, for making this car. <laughs> and big thanks to uh, to Lucas 
Carbon Air. You guys check him out. Their Instagram is uh, his, his Instagram is like Pajak Carbon Air. I don't know. I don't, I don't speak Polish, but it's something like that. <laughs> oh, double wing, bro. This car is going to be so sick. Oh, I'm so excited, bro. Time to go back inside. Ooh, and all time is up. It's very cold, too. Do you all see how close that was? Thank you guys for watching another episode of Evan Makes Bad Decisions and Cuts Up His Cars, but makes them look cool. <laughs> Man, I have, uh, this has been a hectic week and I just wanna say thank you for your patience and like um, me not really uploading. I'm currently filming five different videos right now. This being one of them, I was filming on the R33 today. We almost got it started, but the freaking starter was bad. So I'll have an R33 video for you pretty soon. Uh, the BRZ is about to, I've been picking up the BRZ tomorrow to get wrapped. The Mark III Super is actually about to start and the 350Z, we will get the Z, well, we'll get the engine in that pretty soon. And then this will go off to Jose uh, really as soon as possible because I'm ready for this thing to be painted. I'm ready to drive on the street, dude. This thing is gonna be like, a showstopper. So sick, I'm so excited for it. Yeah, so I, uh, every, every video I make, I give you guys daily advice. Um, for one, drink water. It's good for you. <laughs> Try your best to spend your time, spend your time around people that want you around as much as you want them around. Uh, super important, super, super important that you do that. Because if you're surrounding yourself with a group of people that like could care less if you're there or not, then you're always gonna be an afterthought. You're always going to have the distraction of wanting to please people and wanting to be loved. And um, honestly, guys, learn to love yourself and um, learn to spend your time around people that want you around as much as you want them around. Sometimes it's hard to find relationships like that, but it's possible. It is possible. And if you don't have a relationship like that right now, then spend your time on other stuff, dude. Get your bread up. I don't know. But stop wasting your time around groups of people that just don't give a damn whether you're there or not. Like, don't just be filler for them. Don't just make them feel better by you being around. You know what I mean? So that's all I have to say to you. I love you guys, and I'll catch you guys. I um, dude, I can't. I just had a mild stroke. I'll catch you guys next video. Peace. Hey, I got two videos for you guys. Helps me a ton. I'll give you a kiss if you watch both of them, actually. I'll give you a nice big smooch right on the lips. With your consent, of course. But I'm just kidding. I wouldn't actually do that. I don't want to do that. That's weird. Uh, bye.